Welcome to biology. We're going to be ending our ecology unit this week with this biome research project. And the goal of this assignment is to um, really demonstrate your learning from the entire unit. And so you're going to want to be able to demonstrate learning from each assignment that we've had so far. And that will be really laid out for you in the content that's going to be required. Um, but really, you're going to have all week for me to support you and, and help you answer questions uh, as you go through this process. But the goal of this as well is if you did not uh, make time to complete one of the other assignments, then this will help me uh, argue that you understand and that you learned uh, kind of the required material, so to, so to speak. And uh, therefore, I can argue a good grade for you. So it's really another opportunity to demonstrate your learning uh, to support your grade in a different format. So uh, it is a research project, and, and here we go. With this project, uh, you can choose what kind of format you want it in, whether it's a slideshow, video, 3D model, or something else. Um, I would think the easiest would probably be a slideshow, but if you... Uh, like to be creative and would, would have more fun with a, a different format or medium, then then please do that. I, I want you to be able to enjoy it and feel creative and demonstrate your learning the way that you want. So uh, you could also write an essay if, if you prefer writing. So uh, something to keep in mind, but please double check with me if you have a different project idea that you're thinking of. Now to kind of what the project is and the, the requirements. The first thing you're going to do is identify and describe the key characteristics of the biome. So you're going to choose a biome. Just a reminder, we have these ones that we learned about already. These are the, the big nine, if you will, or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, the big seven. Uh, there are, you know, more or less nine major ones because oceans can be broken down into specific regions. And as you do research, uh, you might be able to identify one that's not on this list. And uh, that's what I meant by this. So you can also choose uh, your own biome. And, and for example, uh, there's going to be something like a high desert, right? Uh, and, and so there's different biomes within the desert kind of category. Um, so, so keep that in mind. But you can choose one of the major ones here uh, or maybe a sub biome um, to, to research. Then you're going to represent and identify flora, fa flora and four fauna. So again, four plants, four animals, and uh, obviously, uh, maybe not obviously, I want you to include the primary producer. So not every single plant is going to be considered a primary producer. So you really want to make sure you find what is the primary producer for this biome and it you have to include at least that one. Then for each organism, uh, you're going to describe the niche, food, shelter, predator, prey relationship. And for the record, this, this goes for uh, the flora and fauna. You, you can do this for both. Then you want to describe the reproductive strategy and mating rituals or behaviors. Uh, this will be easier for the fauna don't necessarily need to worry about the mating rituals and behaviors for the, the flora and the plants, um, as those will mostly be spores or seeds and stuff that they put into the wind. Um, okay, uh, but then beyond that, I want you to think about any symbiotic or individual relationships known. So is, is there organisms that they have direct competition with for resources? Do they work or benefit from other organisms? Um, for example, are, are squirrel in the tree benefited from the tree? Any negative interactions, right? Do they have to worry about parasitism? Um, and, and competition kind of will go with that as well. So that might overlap. Um, and if it does overlap, then, then you don't need to include it again, okay? These are really just guiding questions as you think about this. And then I really do want you, again, trying to touch on aspects from each assignment, what factors uh, would put their population size at risk? So, so, you know, can you discuss that a little bit? Then 
I want you to illustrate the food web for this biome. And uh, I, I really want you to include all the fauna that you selected, okay, all the animals, and just the primary producer. You don't need to include all the plants, um, but you definitely need to include the primary producer, which leads you to this aspect. Uh, I, I want you to talk about the primary producer of that biome and explain why they're important and explain what factors put the species at risk. So uh, really, if you've done all the assignments, you've done this all before, um, kind of in, in pieces. And now I'm asking you to do it kind of big picture for an entire um, biome, or, or at least the major. I mean, there's going to be more than four fauna, but so you can kind of choose the major uh, animals and plants in that in that biome. Something to keep in mind, though, I, I included this rubric here for you. Uh, if you want to get a four, make sure you understand the differences. And, and really, the biggest one I'm going to show is that I want you to include five flora and five fauna in, in your biome. I, I don't think there's a single biome that you're not going to be able to do at least five. So uh, just something to keep in mind. Otherwise, uh, a three is listed here. Okay. And then again, your options are here. Um, depending on how you create your project, you might need to discuss with me an alternative way to submit it. But for most of you, I think if you do it digitally, whether it's a video or a slideshow and that kind of thing, you should be able to get a shareable link and share that with me in this space here. Okay. Uh, we, again, we're going to have all week to work on this. So please let me know if you have any questions or need help.